Oh boy. We can finally pass through the clock tower to the north side of town. How exciting. I can't wait to see what's in store for us there. Is this Lucy? And also is that cat playing with a, a mouse? Is that mouse dead? <laughs> is that mouse dead? Hee hee hee, what you doing? I can tell you want to ask me something, but you mind solving my puzzle first? You're not going to give me a choice, are you? You're not going to give me a choice, are you? My little brother and I came up with this one together. Brother and sister. All right, let's see. A boy and his big sister are sitting around the uh, kitchen table chatting. You know, sis, if I took away two years from my age and gave them to you, you'd be twice my age, huh? Well, why don't you just give me one more on top of that? Then I'll be three times your age. So just how old is each sibling? This is a math puzzle at its finest. Okay, so currently we have X, which is the boy's age. And we have Y for the girl's age. Okay, we have X for boy's age and girl's age. The boy says, you know, sis, if I took two years away from my age and gave them to you, you'd be twice my age. So X minus two. Shit. Hang on. <laughs> X minus two. Him taking away two age, two years from him and giving them to her would be twice as old as his age. Okay. So two times, two times X minus two. Equals Y plus two. Got it. Got it. Okay. Here's what I have so far. Oh, it's going to be backwards if I show you. Let me see. I can put that in chat. Let's put it in chat. So we have X for the boy's age. We have Y for the girl's age. If, if he took away two years from him and gave them to her so that's y plus two she'd be twice as old as him she'd be twice as old as him that's what that looks like okay and then she says why don't you just give me one more on top of that and I'll be three times so if instead we have x minus three and we give those three to her, then instead, she'll be three times as old. So instead, we'll have three X minus three equals Y plus three. There's an easy way to solve this, and then there's a hard way to solve this. Easy way is to just solve for one of the letters. <laughs> the, uh... The hard way is just throw numbers in there and see what works. Just how old is each sibling is what it's asking. So we're going to do this the easy way, I guess. So what I need to do is take one of those and solve it for one of the letters and then plug it into the other one. I think I want to solve for X. So let's see. I'm going to solve. Let's see. So I have three X minus three equals Y plus three. I'm sorry. Three times X minus three equals Y plus three. So let's solve that. Uh, da, da, da. This is a truly a math puzzle here. Uh, let's see. X equals three. Y plus three. Minus three. We can solve that out all the way. Three Y plus nine minus three. X equals three. Y plus six. Now, if I take that, what I got for solving out that second problem, the part that the girl said, if we solve that for X, we have X equals 3Y plus 6. I'm putting that in the chat as well. We have X equals 3Y plus 6. 
I see Soya being says he knows the answer. Perfect. Hold it to yourself. I don't like answers being given to me. This one's not too hard. This one's not hard. This is this is actual math. <laughs> okay, so if I take that, yeah, it's algebra. It's it's basically algebra. If I take that, if I take x equals 3y plus 6, and I plug that into the first problem, the part that the boy said, 2x minus 2 equals, I'm sorry, 2 times x minus 2 equals y plus 2. If I take that and plug it in, then it'll give me y. It'll give me the girl's age. So let's take that and plug it in. I said 2x, 2, two times x minus 2 equals y plus 2. So if I take x and plug it in, I have 2, 3y plus 6 minus 2 equals y plus 2. And I need to solve for y this time. So let's get all the y's on one side. First, I need to solve that out. Oh, this is ugly. Oh, this is ugly. Okay, here we go. So then what I have, if I take that two and multiply it out, just watch, you're going to do all this math and get it wrong. Oh, you want to try me? <laughs> Let's see. I have to take that two and multiply it by everything on the inside. Take that two and multiply it by everything on the inside. So I have 6y. 6y plus 12. That works, right? Yeah. Because if it was by itself, that's what it would be. 6y plus 12, that's in parentheses, minus 4 equals y plus 2. Okay, that works for me. 6y plus 8 equals y plus 2. So then solving for y on one side, I would get 5y equals 10. y is 2. The girl is two years old. So the girl is two years old. Y equals two. And then if we, all we have to do now is take that and plug it into either problem and we can solve it for X. Drop my pen. Let me see. So let's see. I'm going to plug it back into, let's plug it into a third problem or the, the part that the girl said. Why don't you just give me one more on top of that and I'll be three times your age. That's how you check yourself. You don't use the same problem over and over. 3x, 3 times x minus 3 equals y plus 3. So we set y is 2. So we have 3x minus 3 equals 2 plus 3. So 3x minus 3 equals 5. 3x minus 3, 3 times x minus 3 equals 5. So we have 3x minus 9 equals 5. Ooh, I messed up. <laughs> I messed up because I have that the boy is... I have that the boy is almost 5, but not just yet. I messed up. <laughs> Let's see, I messed up somewhere. Let's see. Hang on, I need a real notepad for this. This note card, this note card is maxed out, and I think this is like the third or fourth puzzle we've done. I need a real note card. I, I keep my pencils in the car so I have stuff to do at work. Let me see. Hang on. Hang on. I see people I see people wanting to give me a hint. Give me a second. Let me let me let me try this first. Let me try it first. If if I mess up this time, then I'll I'll get a hint from you guys. Let me see. Let me see. Okay. So we have X and Y. X is the boy's age. Let me put that in pen because that that is a is a standard. That can't change. X is the boy's age. Y is the girl's age. Okay. The boy and his sister are sitting around the kitchen table. 
You know, sis, if I took two years from my age and gave them to you, you'd be twice my age. So the boy says if he takes away two years from his age and gives them to his sister, she'd be twice his age. So at that point, we now have Y equals two. Not, not equals two years old. Y is, I should say Y equals two X is what that is. So let's, let's see. Let's denote that with X subscript one. That's a one that's slightly lower than the X equals Y subscript one. She'd be twice as old as him. So it'd be two. Two times X subscript one equals subscript Y. Yeah, that's what I did the first time. Two X minus two. Two times X minus two equals Y plus two. That's what that was. Where's that note card? Yeah, I did that. Okay. And then she says, well, why don't you just give me one more on top of that? So instead of, let me cross that out so I don't confuse myself. So instead of X minus two, we have X minus three and she would be X plus, I'm sorry, Y plus three. What's the point of using a pencil if it has no eraser? You might as well just use pen. Okay. Well, why don't you just give me one more on top of that? Then I'd be three times your age. Okay, so then X subscript two equals Y subscript two. Let's see. If if one more, then she would be three times his age. So there'd be three times X subscript two equals Y subscript two. Let me see. So then that would be three times X minus three equals Y plus three. And I did that, right? Yeah, that's what I did. Okay. Okay. Let's see. A boy and a sister are sitting around the kitchen table chatting. You know, sis, if I took two years away from my age and gave them to you, you'd be twice my age. Twice my current age? Hang on. Is that twice? See, there, so far in every puzzle that's, that has given me like a little bit of trouble. There's been ambiguity. There's been a little bit of ambiguity. When he says you'd be twice my age, is that twice my age right now or twice my age if I gave you the two years? Because that changes the problem entirely because what I have right now is it could either be, if either of those is true, it could either be let me see. It could either be 2x minus 2 equals y plus 2, or it could just be 2x equals y plus 2. It could be either one of those because of how it's worded. Mm -mm. That's wild. It could be either one of those two that I just posted in chat. That's wild because it's, it's like not really, it's not, it's not worded right, I guess. One of the things when you teach math, one of the things you need to be careful about is how you word the problem because wording it the wrong way can send anybody and everybody down the wrong path let's see so what we did before ended up with the girl being two but then the boy was like 
five and two thirds. Like he was eight months or, or four months away from his next birthday. Uh, Carlos wants to give me a hint. I'm not, I'm gonna, let me spend one of the in game hints first. And then after that, then I'll get a hint from you, Carlos. Let me spin this hint first. Let's see if we can't pare this puzzle down a bit. When you take two years away from the brother's age and add them to the big sister's age, she becomes twice his age. Additionally, when you take three years away from the brother and give them to the sister, she becomes twice, three times older than he is. Okay, that hint didn't help. That hint didn't help with the problem other than the fact that she's older. So let's see. Yeah, 99% of the game hits. What I've seen so far in every single puzzle is that the first hint, I've already figured that part out. I've already figured out the first hint perfectly. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Carlos. When, when I say give me a hint, don't give me the answer. Do not give me the answer. But the hint should be push me in the right direction i guess that that's what i that's what i that's what i look for in hints i do not want the answer push me in the right direction when it says twice my age three times your age honestly what that translates to me is after taking taking two years away and giving them after taking three years away and giving them not not if I give you these two, you'll be twice as old as I am now. All right, I'm waiting on Carlos. While while Carlos is going to work, let me uh let me solve this. Let me try and solve this again. See what I did wrong. Let me see. X. So let me solve for X. Two times. I'm sure this is I'm sure this is so much fun to watch me do. <laughs> okay, let me solve that for X this time. Do you really think that one of the brothers Do we really think that one of the brothers is older than the other? Three, two and four. One and five, that wouldn't work. Three. Wait, two. Oh, it wasn't it wasn't one year, it was two. So if we go four, take away two. Three, it'd be two and four. If you did three, it'd be one and huh? Let's see. Let's see. Hang on. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, okay. Hang on. I need to. I need to do this. <laughs> Let me see. Y plus two, x plus two equals two y plus four, x equals two y plus two. Okay. Okay, so we take that and plug it back in. No, that doesn't work. That's not how math works still. You got to plug it into the other one. This was, to be honest, okay. So there's a, I'll give you guys a story while I work this out. I can tell this story while I, while I solve this. Yeah, I saw the question was each sibling, and I thought that was a weird way to ask me to put in two numbers. And I realized the latent side is not famous for me putting in two numbers. So they're the same age, but that didn't check out. So let's see. Like, like, let me get back to the story. Okay. So in, I want to say it was seventh grade, sixth and seventh grade. I've always been a wizard at math. Math. I've always been at least three years ahead of where I should be in math. Let me plug in X here real quick. I've always been at least three years ahead of what class I should be in when it comes to math classes. Uh, and in seventh grade, one day I was absent three times everything on the inside. One day I was absent 
when we learned something new, something that was completely new. It was polynomials. It's basically this problem <laughs> using more than one variable. Um, and the next day, I was in advanced math. Like I said, I was ahead of where I should be. Um, so we had we had a test the very next day, and the teacher passed out the papers, didn't say anything, as always. And I looked at the, the test, and I said, uh, excuse me, excuse me, um, th I'm sorry, not polynomials, variables. I said, excuse me, uh, this test has a problem. Like, there, there's an issue with this test. He goes, what's wrong with it? I go, there's, there are letters in this first problem. He goes, I know. And I go, oh, yeah, I failed that test. That was the only test in math I've ever failed. I've I've never failed done so bad on a test in my life on a math test in my life equals y plus six. Hold on. So now I have five y equals six. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm math out right now. I'm trash at math. I'm only one year ahead. Hey, that's not bad. That's pretty good. That's pretty good, Scat. Keep it up. That's not bad. Being being a year ahead in anything like math or, or writing, language arts, it's good. Keep it up. Okay, I'm going to use another hint. You could try and solve. Oh. Hit number two says you could try and solve this with an algebraic equation, but that's no way to tackle this puzzle. Try to reason your way through this one. Move two years from the brother age, and the difference in age becomes four years. Move three years, and the difference becomes six. Four years makes the sister twice as old. Six years makes her three times as old. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the brother's age is this even considered a hint? It it is kind of it told me to stop wasting time. <laughs> It's, I consider it a hint because it, it's actually getting my brain on the right track. I can feel the gears moving. Move two years from the brother's age and the difference in age becomes four years. Move two years from the brother's age and the difference in age becomes four years. Four years makes the sister twice as old as the boy. So, four years makes the sister twice as old as the boy. Hang on. All right. I think I got that. Four years. Now, that's the algebraic equation there. Four years. Twice as old as the boy equals... X plus X plus two. Four. Four. Because if you take two years away from the boy and give it to the girl, what you really just did was have the boy's age and then you have the girl's age. And then there's four years difference between the two. There's the boy's age, the boy's age again, and then four more years. That's what that is. So two X equals what the hell did I just write? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Um, let's see. In other late games, there's three normal hints and a special hint that cost two coins. Uh, I'm familiar to this one. The three hints. Um, this was in Leighton and Wright. Leighton versus Wright. Just how old is each sibling? Okay, so they can't be one, can't be two, can't be three. 
Because if you take three away from either one and give it to the other, they don't exist. Four and four. If we take two away from one and give it to the other, we have two and six. That ain't right. Five and five. Take away two would be three and seven. Six and six would be four and eight. That's it, isn't it? That's it. They're both six. Because if you take away two from one and give it to the other, you have four and eight. And if you take away three from one and give it to the other, it'd be three and nine. They're both six years old. Ah, this game. Oh, so they do want me to put in. Okay. That's weird. Didn't expect them to want me to put in two answers. They're both six. Luke, here's my answer. Ugh, this game. Every this game. Has an answer. I feel like when I make VODs, when I edit this stream, <laughs> that one puzzle's gonna be its own episode. The condition and the puzzle only work if both of them are currently six. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up, Layton. <laughs> Shut up, Layton. You know, that's how I felt. That's how I felt uh, when I played Layton versus Wright. There's one puzzle that took me forever. It took me forever. Hate this game. <laughs> Was that too easy for you? Oh, well. Don't play with me, little girl. Don't play with me. Hey, you know the guy from the mansion, Ramon? He may look sedate, but boy, does he like the nightlife. He's buddies with that party animal, Jarvis. Jarvis? Jarvis. I don't believe we know the man. Where might we find him? Well, you see, Jarvis isn't the type to place much value in being gainfully employed. At this time of day, he pro that means he ain't got no job. That's what, that's what that means. <laughs> We're not going to walk right past that one. At this time of day, he's probably lazing about around those steps to the north. Just head up north until you hit a fork in the road. Then take the path to the right. Okay, I have to go now. Let's play again later. No. No. <laughs> this video was part of a stream. If you want to catch our streams live, make sure you subscribe to AltPlay as well as turn on notifications and follow at the AltPlay on Twitter. That way you can stay up to date on all changes.